Thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is the love readings. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, um, that last week, the love readings last month, <laughs> um, I had a problems with my highs and that is the reason why I can't be on camera. So whenever I'm not on camera, that means I'm having a problem with my eyes. All right, I do love you guys. Let's see what is coming out for love. Okay, so we see some of you are dealing with a Caucasian man. You Caucasian men are coming up in love in this month. So some of you could be meeting a Caucasian man. I see whoever well, this person is, is very controlling. All right, so some of you could be dealing with this person and they're very, very controlling. So you got to be aware of this. All right. So earth sign people, what else is new? Okay. All right. The extendeds are already done. So you can go check out the extended. The extended is uh, um, already done. All right. Let's see what is coming up for you guys. All right. So I see um the energy of the six of pentacles that... It's as if you're letting go of the situation. You find someone to be very controlling. Um, you know, Virgos, to a Taurus, you got to be aware of what you're doing, okay? Then I see the energy of the five of uh, uh, wands. And you Tauruses are going to be having some sort of a conflict in your relationship. Or you guys could be, the judgment call is coming up on a Taurus, all right, so Taurus, what did you do? Some sort of a judgment call. Um, then I see um the Capricorns are coming up here. I see a lot of you are trying to find inner strength to deal with some sort of relationship issue. Some of you are dealing with a Aries or a Sagittarian man, uh, whoever this Leo man is, and I see you're standing your ground against this person. I see the nine of pentacles. Um, this is going to be good. They're going to be recognizing that someone tried to control some sort of a issue. A corporation institution is now recognizing where some of you could be have to go into the courts to get something for your kids or some sort of a divorce issue. And the energy of the Ten of Swords, they're recognizing um, that a Aries... Um, if you were in a relationship with a Leo man, they're recognizing that a Leo man had lied, okay? And I see there is no all love. It's as if some of you who had some sort of a relationship with a Leo man, you are not offering any love to this person anymore. You're standing your grounds. You just want this person, the divorce to finish so you get your money and walk away, okay? I see new love could be coming in. This is a positive energy. New love could be a coming in. And if you were dealing with a divorce, I see you could be receiving some sort of a good news from the courts about your divorce. So, uh, whoever this is, this is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion man. Whoever the Pisces, <coughs> Cancer, Scorpion man is, I see that this man is going to be having, like a lot of you, if you are in a relationship with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion man, I see love is going to be coming to you from this person it's going to be absolutely fabulous um nine of uh, okay all right so we had a ten of swords so we have nine of swords i see communication communication is as if this man is um letting you know how much um they feel about you um, this man is really, really communicating. This man is going to be showing you a lot of love and affection. Now, it's not coming up. Who is the spicy Cancer Scorpion man? But whoever the spicy Cancer Scorpion man is, I see that this person is going to be showing you a lot of love and affection. So this is going to be good. All right. So, um, Fab, let's not. All right, so the center of your love reading and the message is that whoever is dealing with a, um, a Leo man, you're going to be finding out that this person, they're going to be finding out that this person had lied. So whoever this Leo man is, they're going to be recognizing. And a lot of you, is as if you're married to this person or you're in a relationship with this person, and you're going to be recognizing this person is really, really seriously 
not normal, okay? Whatever is happening, whatever is transpired, you're going to be recognizing how <sighs> crazy this person is, okay? That this person has not spoken one truth to you since you have known them, okay? So we see the energy that a lot of you are not going to be working on this relationship anymore. This is great. This is so many corals, a whole lot of corals. And um, this corals, um, a whole lot of corals is happening with, you know, with a lot of people around you. And we're going to be looking at uh, individual signs. So um, whoever is in a relationship with an Aries, I see, yes, it is definitely an Aries man. I see that a lot of you are going to be turning your back on an Aries man, whoever this Aries man is. So some of you are doing it with an Aries man and a Leo man, and you're going to be recognizing that this Aries man and this Leo man has been not speaking the truth. So it could have been your husband. So it's definitely an Aries man and a Leo man. And I see a lot of you are fighting to keep your sanity in order to deal with this relationship and this person, whoever this person is, because uh, it's as if truth is coming out about these two men. It is an Aries and a Leo, and the three of pentacles is that you're trying to fight to keep your sanity because you're now recognizing that this, these two men are not really who they say they are, and these two men has been creating a whole lot of issues and problems. Then we see conflicts and a judgment call is going to be coming down because they're going to be recognizing um, some of you could have been in a relationship with a Leo man and you're going to be recognizing that you're the Leo man have either, you know, empty your your personal account. This Leo man have basically empty your personal account. OK, it's as if you two had joined an account and you're going to be recognizing what this Leo man have done, that he has basically emptied your person, personal account. So the phoenix rise from the ashes, a new phase, okay? A transition, growth, the phoenix rise from the ashes. So it's as if whoever this person is was always taking over your power. And... Is as if you are going to be rising from the ashes. You are going to be standing your ground. You're going to be understanding what this person has been basically. And a lot of people who are dealing with um with um these uh, uh, Aries and Leo men, uh, you're going to be rising from the ashes. You're finding your inner strength to take back your power because these people had taken their powers from you. Healthy choices. A lot of you are going to be recognizing that um, these relationship with the spy sign people is not working for me. And there is it, the energy of the judgment. Uh, a judgment call is going to be coming down where you guys are going to be making healthy choices for yourself because you recognize that the choices that you are dealing with, uh, the choices that you have made was not very healthy. And this is the reason why you get caught up in this unhealthy uh, relationship with these um, fire sign men. Then we see tick, 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 the clock is ticking. Um, and um, some of you who are... Um, the clock is ticking and this means that uh, there is an Aries Leo or Sagittarian man. They're now recognizing the disturbingness of this Aries Leo or Sagittarian man and what this person have done. This person have been um playing you for a very, very long time. And a lot of you are going to be recognizing that this person have been playing you. And this is going to be good because um, you're going to be recognizing this. So then we see that a lot of you found out what this person have done. And and and, and whether this, because a lot of you are dealing with the Aries and the Leo men. A lot, and then this person is coming back to you to apologize, especially the Aries one. And said, you know, I really liked you. And, and, and you're like, get out of my face. Get out of my face. Are you crazy? I mean, you empty my bank account. You harassed me and you have been um, spying on me and harassing me. And you're coming back with flowers. Um, you know, get out of my face. And this is because you have recognized that 
this relationship has been so healthy and it is really an Aries man and the reason why this Aries man is said um but I like you you know it's going to be coming up showing love and affection no 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 um you know I like you stay away because if you want more trouble in your life then it's good but if I were you I would just stay away from this person because this person is trouble okay so um, a lot of you um, are going to be recognizing that whether this Aries man, because it's coming down as an Aries man, is coming in saying, you know, I really liked you and um, bye, bye. Um, the snake. Okay, so the energy of the snake, and I see and uh, this is happening. The energy of the snake. This is the second time the snake is coming up and it's affecting uh, Gemini people is affecting whether you're in a relationship with a Gemini uh, cancer, but the cancer is really in love with you, earth sign people. The cancer is really in love with uh, you, but they're going to be recognizing that a Libra has been lying. And I see that a scorpion man is going to be coming in and is going to be protecting a whole lot of you earth sign people. I see a scorpion man is going to be really, really recognizing that you were unfairly treated. And whoever the scorpion man is, and this is a real man because this man is a really mature man, is going to be recognizing they have been all lying. They have been all lying. So... The energy of the snake is about um, completion, it's about the enemy, cleverness, it's about maliciousness, looking over your shoulder, it's about the other woman. So if you are in a relationship with a Gemini, it is going to be coming out at a divorce or some sort of a separation. If you're in a relationship with a Libra, the lies and deceptiveness is going to be coming out. Um, that a Libran has been lying, okay? And uh, um, if you're in a relationship with a Cancer, you really care about this person, but maybe this, the Cancer is uh, in some sort of a marriage, okay? So you got to be aware of that, okay? And uh, you're cheating with this person, and uh, um, but this person really cares about you. It's, it's only that they're in some sort of a... Uh, marriage relationship okay then we are looking at uh, addiction and addiction COVID the codependent obsession possessiveness controlling and it has to do with a scorpion man okay so if you're in a relationship with a scorpion man and he's very possessive but he he does love you it's as if he's addicted to you um so i see the scorpion man and he's like mm, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get her I'm waiting I'm waiting I know I'm gonna get her but the scorpion man could be um, in or has been seen a uh, Libran but the scorpion man is like mm, I don't know I kind of recognize something about this Libran that I never saw about this Libran and it's as if the scorpion man love for a Libran is shameful and this person is really now obsessed with you earth sign people okay so so it is um you know it's it's not bad you know because this person is really obsessed with you but they're this person is really protecting you because this person recognized that you have like good things about you okay so it's about transition a whole lot of transition is going to be coming up and the transition is going to be powerful um, because um, the, the obsession that was here from the scorpion is basically that the scorpion recognized that you have something um, within you. OK, and um, that's where the obsession basically comes in. So that is that is not bad. And I'm and you guys really go a scorpion is the opposite for partner for a Taurus okay so Scorpion and Taurus that is where you find your soulmate and twin flame in a Scorpion so Taurus is um, Scorpions or your mate okay all right so let's break this down so Saturn so we have some sort of a conversation and um, whatever is transpiring I see um, Capricorns um 
Capricorns are going to be recognizing that uh, um, Aries has been creating a whole lot of issue in your world. Like you can see this Aries man because a lot of you um, earth sign people, especially women, are going to be dealing with an Aries man and a Leo man. And what is transpiring is that Capricorns, um, what you're now recognizing is that uh, um, a Aries was in love with you and you weren't even aware of this. And Aries was in love with you and you had no idea. And um, it's not something that you have, would have done. Um, and a lot of you here... Um, Earth sign people, um, Aries always seems to fall in love with you, but it's not what uh, um, you wanted. So I think you you didn't give this person any any time of day basically because you were not interested in in them. Then we see um, the Aries and the Leo. A lot of you Scorpions who are married to Aries and Leo. I think you're going to be getting up and divorcing these Aries and Leo men because you recognize I've had enough. I've had enough controlling and I can't. No, I'm, I'm I've enough. So I see Capricorns, you're going to be really getting up and divorcing these people because you and these people have some sort of uh, imbalance and you're really, um, you know, showing these people I do not want to deal with you anymore. Again, we see um, that the Capricorns uh, um, are going to be basically going for the Taurus. Okay, so um, Saturnus and Venus, um, that is where um, the Capricorns are going to be ending some sort of a marriage relationship with a Leo man and is going to be going for a Taurus man. That is good. Then we see the sun and uh, Venus and the only day, some sort of a judgment call is going to be coming down because I see if you Taurus is married to a Leo, you're going to be recognizing how controlling this Leo is and what this Leo has done and that this Leo was very controlling. And I see that you Taurus is, is going to be bringing down some sort of a judgment call, ending some sort of a a relationship with a Leo and choosing to be with a Capricorn. Uh, Pluto and uh, and uh, the Libra, and some sort of an obsession is going on. And I'm in the house um, and I'm looking at uh, um, the Capricorns because first they came up, so I'm looking at them. Capricorns. Um, there are people a scorpion and a libran was only connected with to you because of your financial status okay so capricorns it is a message for a capricorn out there that a, a scorpion and a uh a libran had only connected with you because of your financial status so be aware if a Libran or a Scorpion wants to come in your life and connect it with you, it's because of your financial status. Then we see um, Venus and Cancer, Yin and Yang. And a lot of people are going to be recognizing uh, that uh, um, if you were married to a Cancer, that a Cancer was in some sort of an affair with a Aquarian. A Cancer was... I, whoever this Aquarian is and whatever that was going on, a lot of you is going to be recognizing. And I think uh, some of you, um, the Cancer thought that uh, the Aquarian was their yin and yang, but it's actually you, the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. Okay, so Taurus Virgo or Capricorn, if you were married to a Cancer or in some sort of a relationship, this person had left you for a, um, an Aquarian. Um, they're recognizing that uh, they have made the biggest mistake. <laughs> Too late. He's gone. <laughs> ah, it's so funny, ladies and gentlemen. You know, you can, you can build your life up. I see a lot of people does this. Oh, and they build their life up and they take this person and they put them this and ooh, 
when that person, uh, they're gone. They're gone with someone else. And I always tell people, don't do that shit. Find someone who is in your same um, equality so that you don't have to build up someone and then they're going to leave you. A lot of women, they stay home, send their husband um, off to university and then the husband, they leave them. Oh, bye. Mm -mm. All right. So we see, yes, yes, yes. Um, we see that a lot of you, a scorpion man and a cancer man is obsessed over a lot of you earth sign people. And um, some of you earth sign people could have been in a relationship with someone like you could have been in a relationship with a Pisces. Um, but this is like karma. Whoever the um, scorpion or the cancer that is obsessed with you is because of karma. Okay. They're working out some sort of a karma. All right. Then we are looking at. Uh, yes, yes, yes. So we are now looking at uh, um, the scorpion person. And. Whoever is in a relationship with a scorpion, you have had karma with this scorpion before. And I see um, whoever this person is, is jealous of a Pisces. So it's like a scorpion man is looking at a Pisces and thinking, you know, I should have been with that person. You know, I should have been the one that is with that person. But I see there's also some sort of a love triangle because they're recognizing also um, that a, um, this is like, a, a this is karma. This is really karmatic relationship that is going on because in the house of uh, the eight house, this is about contracts that was made in past lifetime with relationship. And it's as if uh, there was a contract that was made in past lifetime with a Pisces because the, the, the energy of the Pisces is here. And, a Pisces and a, a Gemini is having some sort of a conflict over some of you earth sign people because uh, um, it is you have signed some sort of a contract with these two people. Okay, so yeah, sometimes you can um, in a relationship you've been uh, from in and out with one, and it is because of a, a karmatic. Uh, um, contract that some of you have with a Pisces and a Gemini is definitely karma. Okay. Then a scorpion, if you're in a relationship with a scorpion, the scorpion man could be obsessed with you earth sign people, but it is as if, uh, um, whoever the scorpion man is, they are like married and in a relationship with someone, but they're so obsessed. And so, uh, yeah, obsessed over you. Okay, then we're looking at Jupiter and uh, um, the moon, Jupiter and the moon. And the energy with Jupiter and the moon, it is about the Sagittarian and the Cancers. And they're going to be recognizing uh, that the Sagittarian and the Cancers have lied. Whoever, uh, whoever these people are, it's as if some of you were married um, to a Cancer and this Cancer, I've seen the Sagittarian and was sleeping around with the Sagittarian and lied to you about it and you guys are going to be finding out okay so then we see the energy of uh aries and taurus aries and taurus this is mars and venus mars and venus and what is happening here is that uh, they are going to be recognizing this aries man i told you ladies i told you an aries man is coming towards you it's a no no this to aries this aries man is a um a criminal um no this aries man just this aries man is coming towards you because uh, this aries man thinks that uh, you are financial stable okay and this aries man is coming with a bunch of flowers and the rest of it no you're not looking for a relationship no i tell you do not go with the aries earth sign people it is good in business. I would even do business. Um, but uh, um, this person is coming in in uh, with love or with some sort of a love relationship. No, don't don't trust it. Not for a minute. It's like a fox. Um, it's like a fox in a wool a wool clothing. 
it is not do not start this relationship it's not going to lay this lay this lay this and i see um aries uh, yeah um and especially for you um well if it's a cup if it's a cup taurus you cup taurus you can go with them but for the rest of you earth sign people keep away from this man but if you are a Taurus Cups, yes, you can go with this person. Um, then I see a lot of you, Jupiter and Venus. A lot of you could be getting divorced from a Sagittarian. Okay. Yes. A lot of you are fighting some sort of a situation issue with a Sagittarian. So a lot of you might be getting divorced from a Sagittarian or having some sort of a trying to figure out what you should do with this relationship with you and the Sagittarian, okay? Again, Capricorns comes up and divorce is here for Capricorns. Separation and divorce is here for Capricorns. Um, Capricorns, divorce and separations are here for you. And if you are in a relationship with an Aquarian, uh, um, a Taurus, Okay, so Capricorns, if you're you're going to be divorced in an Aquarian, and uh, you could be separated from a Taurus, and I see the Taurus is going to be going for a Scorpion. Okay, the Taurus is going to go for a Scorpion. So, Capricorns, you are going to decide. I, uh, you know, I want to divorce. I want, I want to get out. I want to separate. And I see that the Taurus is going to go towards a scorpion, okay? And that's the reason why, because um, they were the one who are creating a whole lot of issues and a whole lot of problems. And this is where you Capricorn stood up and said, hey, it is enough. I'm letting go, okay? Um, then we look at the house of the Geminis. And the house of the Geminis can be... Um, the house of where um, we see the Sagittarian, um, a Libran, and the Pisces. Okay, so if you're in a relationship with a Gemini, but this is as if uh, um, it could be group sex, it could be, yeah, group sex, that sort of a thing, third parties. So if you notice the Gemini and whoever this Gemini is, oh uh, uh, yeah, whoever this Gemini is, there is there is there is a sort of and, and it, it it is a situation where this Gemini could be having three people that they're playing, okay, and you Tauruses uh, um are going to be finding it out, and it's as if uh, um this Gemini has been playing between. Uh, multiple people whether or not this Gemini is married or I've been seeing multiple people but this is a situation where it's going to be coming out because we see the Sagittarian the Librans and the Pisces Sagittarian Librans and the Pisces and I see it's, it's as if it's a group thing okay group sex uh, um, partner situation that sort of a thing Another one is coming up with the Librans also, the Librans and the Gemini. So, and it's basically um, the same thing, the Stargate. So, the Librans, and um, I don't see only a Capricorn that have Aquarian in their birth sign can go with a Librans. But I'm seeing now the Pisces and the Cancers. A lot of you are going to be connecting with the Pisces and the Cancers. And um, you can also connect with the Gemini, especially the Taurus um, that is on the cups of the Gemini. But I see that um, they're going to be recognizing a whole lot of disturbingness. A whole lot of information is going to be coming out. Um, and whether this Pisces, Pisces, Cancer and Gemini. And it is there is something that is going on with a lot of you who are connected to Gemini people and Libran people. Um, because a lot of you are going to be finding out that the Librans has been sleeping around and some of you are going to be finding out that the Librans has been around the block with a Pisces, with a Cancer and with a Gemini. So you got to recognize that there's a whole lot of information that is going to be coming about you with, with, um, you know, your partner seeing other people and multiple people 
and it's going to be affecting you and it's going to be affecting you in a way where you're you're not you didn't see this coming or you're going to be hearing that they were connecting with these people but they gave you a totally different story okay all right so we see pisces pisces um uh pisces and a libran okay so i see that um whatever is transpiring um is as if a pisces man who is involved with a libran is going to be uh, recognizing something about this libran and it's going to like end this relationship because i see um the spices man the spices man is in love with um some of you okay is the spices man is definitely in love with some of you but it's as if they're in the married boat because here is the energy of the boat and um they now recognize that you know this earth sign person is the one that i should be with but they are married and they're like my heart is with this person but I'm married, so I have to stay in my marriage, okay? Um, and we see um the Taurus of the Libran. Oh my god, there's a divorce. So a lot of you who were in um um a lot of you are going to be divorcing the cancers, okay? So it's as if here we see. Um, Librans and Cancers, Pisces and Librans. So this is about uh, these people are married. So a lot of you earth sign people could be in a relationship uh, with someone, a Cancer or a Pisces, but they're married. And this is what I said to you guys in the beginning with the boat, um, where you had the energy of the snake, which was the other woman. And that you were looking your shoulder over with the other women and especially um people who are seeing um married people and you're seeing a cancer and you're seeing a pisces um they are married and it's as if you aren't having an affair with their husband and you're always thinking and looking over the other shoulder when you both are together and this is this is just going to be absolutely fantastic, to be honest, because um, it's as if they recognize that you earth sign are the one, but yet still they are married. And it's as if you earth sign are thinking, you know, it is what it is. I enjoy the moment and for the rest, it is good. So I see a lot of you earth sign people are really going to be enjoying the moment um that you're sharing with these married people and there's nothing wrong with it because most of the time people marry to people who um they have nothing in common to be honest and it's because they did not first figure out because people just get married because they know someone in the village or they were placed with this person and that sort of a thing and yeah sometimes you marry to people who you're not compatible with but it is because of family why you do it so this is what is coming up but i'm saying to a lot of you keep away i see an aries here sagittarian man is coming towards you but this man is coming to rob you basically okay and it is an aries man so um you know whatever love and whatever he's showing he's using his last money to get you those um flowers um let it go girlfriend um you don't need this person i do love you guys please like share these videos um the extenders are out if you want to see the extended use the join button and you can catch it in the third subscription and that third subscription you see everything the archive of everything um and there is a lot remember that these readings are timeless because my frequency um i frequent in a higher vibration so this could be happening to you in three months so go back and look at the old readings to find out what is affecting you in this timeline again go namaste
Thank you.